Well, coming off our first home loss of the year was a bit disappointing on the weekend, and even more concerning is a 1-3 and three record from our first four Pac-10 games. Definitely not what we had planned, but it does put the task at hand in focus for our team, and we do have games to play, so there, there's always a positive. Um, for sure, you know, we need to address the up and down form that we're seeing right now, where last weekend's a good example where we play well, a large group of our team members play well on a Friday, and then a large group of our team members don't perform so well on a Sunday, as was the case yesterday. Taking nothing away from Cal, who right now maybe is the class of the Pac-10, but clearly people, you know, did not play well enough uh, that played well Friday did not come with that kind of performance on Sunday and it hurt us. Uh, we have to come to grips with, with that issue of playing consistently in the Pac-10, meaning on two games on a weekend, playing well both on Friday and a Sunday. Uh, certainly this approaching game against Oregon State is very, very important uh, towards our postseason hopes and we've got to put full focus into our next Pac-10 game. Um, so we have to, the good news is we think many of our, you know, goals, uh, goals against um, issues can be, uh, we contend that we can't fix those things. We do have some practice plans that we think are going to help our players to cope uh, with the goals that we're conceding. A second consecutive Sunday, we concede four after a shutout Friday night. So something's there uh, mentally, organizationally, confidence-wise. We know they can play well and defend well when they have to, but we have to put a plan into place that assists them in that process. But the good news is it keeps us with a clear plan for the remaining games, and we know that we still control our fate.